Okay. Um, oh, wait, I forgot. Silent and silent fucking shit. It's <laughs> burrowing in my fucking brain. Star Ocean, the second story, R, came out this week. Oh. How's that? Do you, do you have any familiarity with Star Ocean or Star Ocean 2? Uh, I have familiarity with the 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 emotional arc <laughs> and then the yeah okay the subsequent so to those so to those of you who don't know you you there might be some disagreement in but star ocean has six games there is one good one and it's two and it came out in the 90s um the thing is about star ocean 2 is that it's like one of the best playstation 1 rpgs to ever come out which is quite a, a claim mm -hmm. um it's incredible, um, but it was a PS1 and PSP game, and it looked like complete dog shit. Um, then they decided to hit it, hit it with the, like, H, I think we're calling it HD 2D style, in which you have old-fashioned sprites with, like, modern effects and 3D graphics. Um, we saw that with Octopath 1 and 2 and Live Alive. Um, this is easily easily the the best looking of all of those hd 2d games it looks fucking incredible like it, it is nice. visually gorgeous but it still looks like it was like built off of a a ps1 game like there's a weird i don't know how to describe so, it there's a weird roundness to the cg backdrop buildings of playstation 1 games mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. because it was a pre-rendered backdrop they were like, oh, we can make all these rounded edges on them because we don't have to render it. Um, uh, it's it's great. Was Star Ocean, like, in terms of release date, like, was this, was, like, was, like, Star Ocean and Suikoden and Vagrant Story and, like, Seven and all that, was all that in, like, a, like a two or three year period? Yes. It was one of the. It's another one of those things, right? Where PS One classic started RPGs to get buried are all just like the fucking other back super to back classic to back came out three bangers. weeks later. Okay, and the second. Like I'm trying to find the, the initial Wild release date Arms. for Star Ocean Two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, second, I don't want the the remake, but God. um, I remember that it came out. I think it was ninety eight. It was July thirtieth, ninety eight. Of course it was. Of course it was. So when fucking your plate, Xeno when your Gears plate was... and fucking FF8 came out like right there. Yeah. <laughs> like I think I think the sheer like the, it's what it, it's very clear looking at this type of every time we we go back and realize how close together a lot of these classics were. It's like no one was able to consume all of them when no, they came out. No. Everyone had to get into and figure out that they were good through word of mouth over the course of the decade following as each friend would be like, I played that, that, and this over one over here, borrow this, and then you can play the ones I didn't play. And we and, and then you find out you find out over the course of a decade while you catch back up. It, it sucks way too for, much going on, man. It sucks for Star Ocean Second Story because like it came out in nineteen ninety eight and it like it looks like shit compared to like Vagrant Story and and Final Fantasy seven VII and eight, like and and all that. Like it looks like garbage. Like like visually, graphically. Like it's it just can't it couldn't possibly compete. Mm. Um The main thing that Star Ocean two had, and Star Ocean One had it, but who cares about that? The main thing that Star Ocean One uh, sorry, that fuck. I don't know what's wrong with me today. The main thing about Star Ocean 2 is that um, it is a... It's kind of like Tales in that it's like RPG, like action combat. Like you get in a random battle and then you you have your little dudes run around and you hit you hit people with the attack button. That kind of thing. Um, plays really well. But on top of that, it has like an absolutely cracked out skill system for crazy people. So uh, everyone in your party can learn how to craft items customize items, write books, play music, create portraits, uh, pickpocket people, um, make contraband items, uh, all sorts of shit like that, which leads to a system in which everybody in your team learns how to play music so that you can run super orchestra so that when Ashton writes his, his memoirs, he can then sell his rare book 
to an inn and then the inn will start paying him royalties for the remainder of the game nice. off of his book or he can write a different more romantic book and trade that to a party member which will increase their affection for him which goes into the okay. like ending system yeah insane like, subsystems um that's fucking if sick. you if you use oh god i probably have this wrong but if you use a combination of crafting skills you can get a set pool of random items that you can then save scum into crafting on a special sword that you can steal off one of your party members in town and then you can run that twice in order to make the final weapon for the main character by like the third town okay. because why not like just absolutely stupid stupid shit in-depth thing like i was looking it up and like oh if you use contraband you can make a secret bank account for your characters that lowers the prices of all the items in the game is a lot of this stuff like crazy shit people found after the fact or is it stuff that as you're going through it you are seeing the possibilities open up no it just dumps the whole system on you okay okay it just goes fuck it. here's how skills work do it because again, the older the game, the more it's like when there is shit like that, it was only discovered later. You know, as like I, I, I and all, the, over the, the weekend, the over the weekend, I was I, I made a tweet that like turned people off of it, which I think is kind of incredible. Or I was like, hey, what food item can the party cook with Master Chef that nullifies reputation loss from pickpocketing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that sounds. <laughs> that's a lot. That's for a particular type of person, but it also sounds insanely optional. Like it, that, it, dude. So when I was, that a sounds kid, like the most ignorable feature I've ever heard. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Uh, when I was a child and I was playing this game for the first time, I've never beaten Star Ocean Two. And um, I've never, been, it's weird. I played it a ton and there, oh, you know, I'll go into it. There's two playable characters that you start as, Claude or Reyna. And the differences between the two are unique party members, unique starting skills, unique story beats, unique personal actions. What's personal actions? Oh, every town that you go to in the game, you can hit square and the party will split up. And every party member will go to a s separate part and have their own little story thing that you can go to and hang out with them like a oh, social yeah. link. Yeah, but doing... some of those are traps because if you go to the one where Claude overhears two characters talking shit about him and listen in, your friendship goes down no matter what. Oh, no. So don't do that one. And oh, wait, there's personal actions that happen in the first town when you're at the end of the game. How would you know that? You wouldn't. You'd miss it unless you're crazy and you'd right. go back and do it. Right. Okay. So when I was playing the game for the first time, when I was a child, I got all the way to the final boss, all the way to the final boss. And I had read on Game Facts that, hey, you know, if you go to the final boss and you leave and talk to this guy, you can unlock the super dungeon and then you can go keep playing in the super dungeon and get all sorts of crazy stuff. So I did that, and I went and hung out with the Super Dungeon for a while, and I, I couldn't beat it. It's very hard, right? And so then I went to go fight the final boss and couldn't beat it. The final boss beat me into dirt like like no other RPG boss I've ever played in ever. Huh. Only for me to find out this week that if you do that, the final boss gets 10 times <laughs> the amount of stats uh, so that by the end of the super dungeon you level up to still have a challenge still a final boss for you, you. Still, yeah because you get powered up from the experience damn and i'm like oh my god that's why i couldn't beat damn. it as a child okay so by peeking that's crazy. in by peeking into the super boss <laughs> you you just yeah okay that's crazy like that sounds <laughs> that sounds like a a uh, 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 that's a wild way to solve that problem. The other way is to just make enemies scale with your strength, but that shit sucks. So, yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, overall, it, it is a golden 
jewel of a PlayStation 1 RPG. But on top of that, like genuinely, the re-release that they've done for it That's is lavish in 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 its in its adoration. So it it is it is beaming with oh man, the people who worked on this are in love with this. So step one, full voice acting. English and Japanese. Cool. Step two, full voice acting by the different batch of actors that did the Japanese voice acting for the PSP release that's a toggle on the menu. Wow. Okay. Okay. Number three, you go into your character status screen and you have the fancy new portraits. Well, what if you like the PSP portrait? Okay, just hit a button and the PSP portrait will show up for the whole rest of the game. What about you want, you prefer the original portrait, the one where it says Crawd C. Kenny instead of Claude? Yeah, fuck it. Hit square. Do it. Nice. Oh, does does every single room in the game have fast travel now? Yes. Does the fast travel screen show you where hidden events are and every personal action is in the game on the menu with a little hourglass next to them if they're time limited? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Quality of fucking life. Do, uh, do, has the battle system been reworked to be more active, to include things like active dodging and rolling bonuses? Yes. Are random battles completely gone and replaced with a little guy on the map that you run into, but then they all link up so that you can fight five of them in a row so you get a massive XP bonus and spend less time grinding? Yes. That is Is the arranged soundtrack and the original soundtrack flippable at any time with the press of a button in the options menu? Yeah. Like lavish okay. in its praise and adoration switching to non-random battles <laughs> is humongous wow that's, that's it, it is it is like it is everything that you could ever want out of it while still being the same game okay they even added fishing why i don't know but i tried the fishing in a game and it's fun Sure. And the fishing mini game is a way to weirdly unlock. Oh, yeah, battles now have an assist system for characters that were part of the story but would never join your party. Well, now they can join as assists. And if you fish really good, you can have the main characters of Star Ocean 4, 5, and 6 come in as assists. Just for fun. Why not? Why, sure. Because for all, for whatever it's worth, Star Ocean's done now, right? That's it? We're, we're done? <laughs> <laughs> There's... This is this is this is all you need and it's it's Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like I went into a shop and every single item in the game, every single piece of equipment, despite the game being entirely sprites, in the shop menu only has a 3D model. Hmm. I don't know why. You'll hmm. never see it. You'll never see hmm. it. But when that, you go to buy leather a leather helmet, it shows you a nice 3D model of a leather helmet. That feels <laughs> like it's almost like the way that um, the pixel remasters of, of FF were like, there's this little bit of 3D, but don't worry about it. It's not there. If you don't want it for too long, it's just going to be here for a second. You know, like it's like, okay, it's during the opera. Look at the cool stuff during the opera, but don't, 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 the gameplay is still fun. You know, and it's like in case anyone is like, I don't want any of this new shit. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see it. It gives you enough distance to not affect things. Wait, know? I own Star Ocean 6? When did that even happen? <laughs> okay, I guess. I, I, I guess someone sent it to me. Oh, wait, you have to own 6 to get that feature? No, no, I'm just... I'm just Divine Force of Star Ocean 7? I don't... I don't know. I did a stream of it? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> No, I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, God. Are we here? No, are we at, I didn't. Are we at this place where your your memory can't? No, be I know that. No, someone's someone's throwing. No, someone's trying okay. to someone's right. trying to fuck with me. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Star Ocean Second Story R is fucking a plus. It's absolutely stellar fantastic anybody awesome. who likes jrpgs should check it out it's incredible yeah just sh give pe shit in the hands of people that love the thing that's that's really just that's the ingredient love who's been screwing with this thing
I would like to see. I would like to see some a Star Ocean game that uh, takes place after three that runs back the disastrous, disastrous decisions to, made okay, in three. I was trying to figure out how to angle the bit, <laughs> and I saw I, I saw a fun comment where Pat had let angle. Star Ocean three taint his view of the series even though star ocean 3 is peak and i will f i would fight you. i would scream and argue with you for hours <laughs> like dude like i mean i just like i remember when uh uh so josh told me about how three went down and every described it over the course of hours and it was like it was like trauma. It 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 it, it, it sound like I, he was shook after whatever. We were I, all shook. Like like it was incredible how fucking wrecked uh, that 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 day was from hearing about how that goes down. And yeah, I will I will give the developers like massive massive props for having the balls to never run it back <laughs> and to continue from there <laughs> forward, right? Yeah, so that's why all games have to take place before Star Ocean 3 mm -hmm. in their narrative. They have to. God. It's the rules. I mean, look, we, we did eventually get past Devil May Cry 2, you know? and, and Eventually. It's, and it's great. It's great. <laughs> um, nice. How much is Star Ocean second? Oh, it's a full price game. It's like $66. So I don't know what that is in American buckaroos. Okay. All right, because uh, I was I was buy, I was buying Mario Wonder and I just saw it turn into like ninety Canadian dollars and I'm like, oh, feels oh. great, huh? <laughs> okay, so for Americans, Star oh. Ocean Second Story R is fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <sighs> which that sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, it's so it's so incredible. It's so like also you can skip every single dialogue and cutscene in the game now. Oh, you couldn't before? No. Mm. But like, hey, do you hey, you know when you so like for example, when you're replaying the game a second time with the other character and you're running into a mandatory story scene that you've seen already, boop. When you're about to go fight the boss and the cutscene is gonna, oh I'm gonna fight boop. When you're restarting the game in order to get the skills that you want on your character, boop. By the way, this is gonna so I'm gonna oh my fucking god. <sighs> I have to give a public service announcement for insane people who are going to be playing Star Ocean the Second Story R. So you're going to have to bear with me, Wooly. I, I will not have time to explain all the bits and pieces of this. Sure. In Star Ocean the Second Story or Star Ocean the Second Story Second Evolution, many of you who are playing the game wanted to re-roll your character over and over and over and over and over until you started with the skill dexterity so that when you got the bandit's glove, you could steal the mischief item or the sprite bracelet from the personal action that only appears before the fucking second continent and you wouldn't be able to get it otherwise, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you can now learn dexterity by crafting 10 iron ore in the first town of Crass. You don't have to wait till the second continent in order to get dexterity. You can do it. You do not need to reroll your character 35 times in order to get dexterity on Claude. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to do it. Just play the just, just play the game. Just do it. Um, it's called so Nimble Fingers in R. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to re-roll for Nimble figger Fingers. You just have to use the crafting thing when you get to Crass. So um, import important is who is responsible for this quality-ass uh, remake. Gem Drops is the name of the company? I've never heard of them. Um, apparently, they are behind uh, Kazuna Eye Game. Um Sword of Rewind, Crystar, Cogen, I, I, uh, Spice and Wolf VR. Well, it hit overwhelmingly positive on Steam. Okay. People know about Star Ocean 2 now. It's great. Nice. They should do more of this. Former Tri-Ace employees. 
Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Some of the people who originally made it. So I look at Star Ocean, the second story R, and I go, this is literally the best possible thing. Like, this is the ideal version that would have existed in your mind, right? And I look at that, and I go to the Steam discussion things, and like all the top threads are, do Xeno Gears and Chrono Trigger like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now. <laughs> I, I imagine I imagine um, yeah we're, there's there's we're prob we're we're overdue for another Chrono Trigger I'm sure there I'm sure there's I, I felt like the the pixel remasters were like they took their sweet ass time but part of that I know is also like they went back to the original sprite artist and you know we're doing it that way um, I I feel like yeah I feel like we could we could we could get one of those going especially since I think the last Chrono Trigger re-release was the mobile version dropped on steam no it was the pc version which was the mobile version which was shit so there we go that took them like a year and a half to get to okay and i was like it's a super nintendo game man like fuck, <laughs> come on um, come on okay oh am i a little quiet you are a little quiet so here's i have a problem woolly the problem is as i look over and i see is Wooly quiet or is Pat really loud? And the problem is, is that you are quiet and I am really loud. Yes. For real. Yes. Okay. So, like, I don't know how to... Sure. <laughs> don't know how to actually parse that. Okay. Like, um, in, in, our, in our real lives. 